प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द ऑटो कैट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगनेस पार्ट वन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर द कॉन्सेप्ट वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कमांड्स आर देर फॉर ड्रॉइंग द सिंपल टू फ्लोर प्लान सो आफ्टर दट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फ्लोर कमांड्स सो फ्रॉम टूडे विथ इन फाइव टू फोर डेज वी विल कंप्लीट द ऑटो कैट टू फ्लोर प्लान कमांड्स विथ एग्जाम्पल्स सो इनिशियली आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू what are the different types of the commands are there for drawing of any kind of the floor plan by using autocad software so select this so i will provide you this respected uh, document in the below description you can download that so basically for drawing of any kind of the floor plan basically we will follow some uh, commands that is the important part of your autocad software so in autocad software there are plenty of the commands are there in this plenty of commands i was selected 24 number of commands so these are the main important commands generally uh, helps to drawing of your respected floor plan okay so first command is units command and second command is limits third one is dimension style fourth one is line command fifth one is rectangle command circle command next one is arc command next one is polyline command next one is uh, polygon command next one is copy move rotate mirror offset zoom text hatch fillet chamfer trim extend array Erase undo. So these are the twenty-four main commands. That these commands are helps to drawing of your respective floor plan. Okay. So in this video, I will cover five commands which are related to units, limits, dimensions, line, and rectangle command. Okay. So initially, we need to click on the AutoCAD software here. So I select your AutoCAD software. So the software will be open here like this with the starting page. So initially, we need to click on Start Drawing option. so it will open your respected autocad software with the user interface uh, commands like this so basically before drawing any kind of the floor plan or any kind of the object basically we need to select the units command so that is the important part of your autocad software so these commands uh, upper portion of the commands are related to your respected 2d commands so if you want to draw any kind of the building or any kind of the 3d objects basically we need to change this respected interface so for that we have to go to this uh, settings option so you can select here as 3d modeling option so the commands which are related to the 3d modeling will be selected here for drawing of your 3d objects which are related to uh, 3d building plans and 3d objects which is comes under your civil engineering purpose so here i am changing this respected option to 2d floor plan so let us consider it as drafting and annotations so it will select your respected commands like this so basically it will be consisting of your respected command like line polyline circle arc rectangle ellipse and hatch command move copy mirror etc like this okay so initially i will start with your respected units command okay so basically before drawing any kind of the object we need to set the units whether your object is drawing in millimeter or centimeter or meter or kilometer or feet or inches initially we need to select that respected units so for that we have short form is there un is the short form for the units command okay so un enter so it will open your respected drawing units options like this it will be consisting of defaultly decimal space decimal degree and precision will be of 0.0000 and uh, intersection scale will be in inches so basically as per the considerations of the site considerations basically as per the plan we will consider it as feet and inches so that's why we can select this respected decimal point to engineering so otherwise you can select in any one of the format as per your considerations for simple and uh, perfect floor plan basically we will consider it as feet inches so that's why just i'm selecting in engineering so you can select any one of the precision as per your considerations of the floor plan so here i am selecting third one precision so after that we have to select the intersection scale so basically we will select this respected option as feet okay so after that we have to click on okay option so it will ask you to autocad use this architecture or engineering uh, linear units option so you can simply click on okay button so it will select your respected option with units as feet only okay feet and inches so depends upon your consideration so you can draw this respected floor plan so after selecting units command basically we will uh, select the dimension style so basically if you draw any kind of the object we will measure that respected distance in linear or in aligned method also so basically we will select the uh, dimension style visible style dimension style options so that's why we need to select the dimension style option d enter 
so basically the dimension style option will be open here uh, like this with dimension style manager so it will be consisting of set current and new modify over uh, override and compare okay so basically set current uh, is nothing but set uh, units as the displaying units so otherwise you can select the new option for uh, selecting your units so simply i am modifying this respected option with the modify option so here initially we need to select the primary units so as per the units considerations we are taken it as engineering standards only so that's why we need to consider the unit format is engineering so again we have to select the text format so here it will be consisting of the text height is 0.18 inches so basically this is less value so for that just i am changing this respected value to let us consider it as 9 inches okay option okay so click on close option so this is the process of dimension style option so after that next command is limits command so basically limits is one of the most important concept so you need to select the limits in order to display your respected project output so here i'm selecting limits command limits so click on enter option so initially we need to select the lower left corner let us consider it as 0 feet 0 inches and this respected value is also 0 feet 0 inches click on enter so after that we have to enter the upper right corner so for example just i am considering this respected distance is 100 feet 0 inches let us consider and this axis is also 100 feet 0 inches you can consider the limits as per your considerations of your floor plan so click on enter option so it will select your respected limits so after that we have to click on z enter a enter option which is nothing but the zooming of your respective floor plan as per your limits considerations okay so now the next command is line command so this is basically most important command for drawing any kind of the floor plan which is related to the civil engineering purpose okay most of the civil engineers are drawing uh, floor plans with the help of the line command only okay so initially i am selecting the line l enter option so it will ask you to select the uh, specify the first point so here i am selecting first point at a distance of 5 feet 0 inches from the x axis again i am selecting 5 feet 0 inches from the y axis so it will select your respected point here like this so which is at a distance of 5 feet 0 inches from this respected origin from x axis as well as your y axis so after selecting this respected point you can select any one of the another point so it will ask you to select the next point so if you need any kind of the straight line in horizontal position basically the y coordinate will be same so for that reason we need to enter the point here otherwise you can click on this respected f8 option so basically f8 option is nothing but the ortho on or off option so if you click on that ortho on or off option you can directly draw the your respected straight lines in horizontal position as well as your vertical position please remember this point so if you doesn't need any ortho on or option you can directly click on f8 option so it will select your respected uh, curve lines like this okay so basically if you need any kind of the lines which is in straight uh, parallel to x condition as well as your y condition you can select this respected option okay so basically here i am selecting my x axis distance let us consider it as uh, 10 feet 0 inches let us take click on enter option so it will draw your respected line which is consisting of 10 feet 0 inches like this okay so after drawing your respected line we need to measure the distance between the starting point to ending point so for that we have to go to this respected uh, linear option dimensional measurement so click on the starting point option click on the second point option so basically it is comes under your 10 feet uh, line so in the same process you can draw the lines here l enter option select the first point just i'm selecting here in the same process just i'm drawing five feet line let us consider five feet zero inches in horizontal position again i'm taking line l enter command select the starting point let us consider it as 15 feet zero inches in the same process you can measure the distance here by using this respected linear option select this first point select this second point okay so select this again in the same process just select the first point again select the second point 15 feet so in the same process you can draw the lines which are related to inclined one also linear one okay so basically here i am drawing this respected linear line so if you want to measure the distance between the linear first point to second point basically we will select this respected option to aligned one okay select the first one select the second point so basically it is comes under your respected distance of 11 feet 0 0.2995 inches okay so this is the process of drawing your respected line command okay so basically for drawing of any kind of the lines so here i am using the option as l enter option okay so short form is l so you can directly select the user interface from here also for drawing of any kind of the line so let us consider this respected line so you can select the first point so click on f8 option so this is the basically shortcut for uh, drawing of your respected line so this is the 20 feet 0 inches line basically so you can measure the distance with the help of the 
linear one select the first point here select the second point basically it is 20 feet 0 inches so this is the process of drawing your respective lines so next command is rectangular command so basically the rectangle is nothing but a box which is having unequal distance in horizontal position and vertical position so if you uh, select any one of the rectangle it is having equal distance in opposite direction only okay basically a facing as well as d facing having the equal distance and the vertical facing having equal distance for that respected b as well as your respected c so for drawing any kind of the rectangle basically we will select the command as rec rectangle command so click on enter option so it will ask you to select the specify a corner point so basically for this respected rectangle section just i am taking 5 feet 0 inches uh, corner point again i am selecting 5 feet 0 inches corner point so after that it will ask you to select your another corner point here i am taking the 20 feet let us consider 0 inches in horizontal position again you can select some value of just let just i am considering it as 30 feet 0 inches vertical position now you can see the rectangle is drawn for this respective section like this you can measure the distance in the same process select the first point select the second point which is comes under your 20 feet again you can select the point here like this again you can select the point here like this which is consisting of your respective distance of 30 feet so in the same process i will draw one more rectangle rec enter so it will ask you to select your state, uh, starting point so here i am taking the starting point is let us consider 40 feet 0 inches let us consider again horizontal point again i will consider vertical point is let us take it as 60 feet 0 inches so it will select your respective starting point at this respected position here like this so now we have to enter the horizontal line distance so basically so here i am taking the horizontal line distance as per the considerations of the rectangular box so let us consider rectangular box will be consisting of 50 feet in horizontal position and vertical position will be consisting of 30 feet so let, let us consider horizontal distance is 50 feet 0 inches again we have to click on tab option again we have to click on 30 feet 0 inches in vertical section now you can see 50 by uh, 30 rectangle will be drawn here like this so you can select the distance select the first point select the second point which is comes under your 50 feet line again in the same process you can select the vertical section also so you can select this respected point now you can see the rectangle is drawn here like this so this is the first method so you can draw the rectangle with the help of the dimensions also okay so basically that is the second method now i will explain you how to draw the rectangle with the dimensions so for that we have to click on rec enter select the corner point just i am selecting this respected point let us consider so it will ask you to rectangular specify area dimensions rotation okay so you can select any one of the option as your, as per your considerations for drawing of rectangular section basically we will select the dimensions only so that's why just i am selecting the dimensions option so it will ask you to select your respective length of the rectangle and width of the rectangle so here i am considering the uh, length of the rectangle is let us consider it as 40 feet 0 inches enter so after that it will ask you to select your width of the rectangle so here i am taking 30 feet 0 inches width so let us consider this is my rectangle which is having the dimensions is 40 cross 30 so we can measure the distance here starting point to ending point which is comes under your respected distance of 40 feet again we can select this respected point again it will be consisting of 30 feet okay so in the same process you can draw one more rectangle so here as per my example just i will draw one more rectangle rec enter select the starting point let us consider again you have to click on the dimensions so initially we need to enter the length of the rectangle so here i am taking 10 feet 0 inches let us consider again it will ask you to select your width of the rectangle so let us consider it as 5 feet 0 inches okay so this is my 10 feet cross 5 feet 0 inches rectangular section so we can measure the distance here in horizontal position again we can measure the distance in vertical position for this rectangular section okay so this is the complete process what are the different types of the comments are there for drawing of 2d floor plan and complete explanation process of your respected units limits dimensions line and rectangle so tomorrow class i will explain you circle command arc command polyline command polygon command and copy command okay so this is the process if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for the respected question if you like this video please click on like button so that it will helps me to create better content thank you